Hello everyone, this is Dia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable Gaussian. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x square to t square y by dx square minus 3x to dy by dx plus 5y equals to x square sine of log x. Given differential equation. x square into d square y by dx square minus 3x into dy by dx plus 5y equals to x square sine of log x. We know that d by dx is equals to differential operator d, right? Here x is an independent variable for d. Then d square will be d square by dx square. Now we can write the given equation as x square into d square y minus 3x into dy plus 5y equals to x square sine of log x. Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS. We'll get x square d square minus 3x d plus 5 into y equals to x square sine of log x which is a Cauchy's equation. Now we'll reduce this equation to an equation with constant coefficients. Here we are having variable coefficients, right? We'll reduce this to constant coefficients by making a simple substitution. Put x equals to e power z, then log x to the base equals to z for x greater than 0 and let theta equals to d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator with independent variable z and x d equals to theta x square d square equals to theta of theta minus 1. Now this equation becomes theta of theta minus 1 minus 3 theta plus 5 into y equals to replace x y e power z then we'll get e power z whole square into sine of replace log x by z we'll get sine z right then theta square minus theta minus 3 theta plus 5 into y equals to e power 2 z into sine z then this becomes theta square minus 4 theta plus 5 into y equals to e power 2z sine z, which is an operator form. So we got constant coefficients. f of theta into y equals to some q of z, I mean function of z, where f of theta equals to theta square minus 4 theta plus 5. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Let's find yc and yp now. The auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to, we have f of theta, theta square minus 4 theta plus 5, right? Let's replace theta by m, then we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 4m plus 5. Then auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4m plus 5 equals to 0. Now we'll find roots using Quartic formula m equals to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Just compare this equation with quartic equation in m. We'll get a equals to 1, b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 5. Then m becomes minus of minus 4 plus r minus square root of b square minus 4 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 5 by 
2 into 1, which is equal to 4, plus or minus 4, 12, 4 square 16, minus 4, 5 is a 20, by 2. Then m equals to 4 plus or minus 12, 12, 16 minus 20 is minus 4 by 2. This is equal to 4 plus or minus, we can split minus 4 as, we can just write minus 4 as minus 1 into 4 by 2. This is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of minus 1 into square root of 4 by 2. We know that square root of minus 1 is i and square root of 4 is 2. Then we will get 4 plus or minus i into 2 by 2. Now take 2 common from the numerator, we will get 2 times 2 plus or minus i by 2. Right? Here 2, 2 gets cancelled. Then we will get 2 plus or minus i. They are all complex conjugate roots. Therefore, m equals to 2 plus or minus i. The roots are complex. We know that a plus ib is a complex number, then its conjugate is a minus ib. Likewise, if a minus ib is a complex number, its conjugate will be a plus ib. So we can call a plus or minus ib as a pair of complex conjugate, right? Complex conjugate roots. Then yc will be e power a into z into c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz. Let's now write complementary function. yc equals to e power 2 into z into c1 cos for b equals to 1 we will get 1 into z plus c2 sin 1 into z. Then yc becomes e power 2z into c1 cos z plus c2 sin z. Now we need to write this in terms of x because we are having in terms of z right. So, for that purpose, we can replace e power z by x and z by log x to the base e, right? So, for that, we need to write e power 2z as e power z for 2 into c1 cos z plus c2 sin z. Now, replace e power z by x and z by log x then yc becomes x square into c1 cos of log x plus c2 sine of log x so these are required yc let's now find yp We can find yp using 1 by 4 theta into q of z. This is equal to 1 by the half of theta. Theta square minus 4 theta plus 5 and q of z is e power 2z into sine z. So this is of 1 by f of theta into e power az into sine. Okay into v form, right? We will shift e power a z towards left by replacing theta with theta plus a and later we will operate v with 1 by f of theta plus a, right? Then for just compare e power 2z with e power a z then for a equals to 2 we will find theta plus a which is equals to theta plus 2. Now shift e power 2z towards left by replacing theta with Theta plus 2. We will get theta plus 2 whole square. Minus 4 into theta plus 2. Plus 5 into sin z. This equals to e power 2z into 1 by. Expand theta plus 2 whole square which is theta square plus 2 square 4. Plus 2 2 is a 4 into theta 4 theta. Minus 4 theta. Minus 4 2 is a 8. Plus 5 
into sin z. Right? Here plus 4 theta minus 4 theta gets cancelled. Yb becomes e power 2z into 1 by theta square plus 4 plus 5 is plus 9 minus 8 into sin z. This is equal to e power 2z into 1 by theta square plus 1 into sin z. And this is all. 1 by some function of theta into sine dz form. For b equals to 1, we will find theta square which is given by minus of b square which is equal to minus of 1 square is minus 1. Now let's see what happens if we replace theta square by minus 1 in the denominator. Always remember that the denominator must be non-zero. If the denominator becomes 0, we will get 1 by 0 into sine z. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. Right? So take the denominator part and replace theta square by minus 1. We'll get minus 1 plus 1 is 0, right? So the denominator is 0 by replacing theta square by minus 1. So what we'll do now? We'll not replace theta square. Just write 1z into 1 by find derivative of theta square plus 1. Okay, if g of theta is theta square plus 1, then g dash of theta will be 2 theta, right? We'll get 2 theta here into sine z. This equals to e power 2z into z into 1 by, we can write 2 theta as 1 by 2 into 1 by theta. This is not 0, this is theta into sine z. This equals to z e power 2z by 2 into 1 by theta into sin z. We know that 1 by theta is an integral operator. So now we need to apply integration. z e power 2z by 2 into integral sin z dz. This equals to z e power 2z by 2 into integral sin z dz is minus cos z. Then we will get minus z e power 2z by 2 into cos z. Or we can write this as minus 1 by 2 into z into e power 2z into cos z. See we are having y p in terms of z. We need to write in terms of x. So what I will do is I will write e power 2z as e power z whole square into cos z. Okay, now I'll replace e power z by x and z by log x. Then yp becomes minus 1 by 2 into replace z by log x. We'll get log x into replace e power z by x. Then we'll get x square into cos of replace z by log x. Finally, y p becomes minus 1 by 2 into log x into x square cos of log x, which is our required y p. So, we got y c and y p. Right? We are having y c and y p. Now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to x square into c1 cos of log x plus c2 sine of log x plus yp minus 1 by 2 log x into x square into cos of log x. So this is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations with 
variable questions in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.